All right, my friends, what's up? So we are trying out uh, more Field of Ruin strategies in, in standard. Um, two best decks in the format right now are Jeskai Planeswalkers and Four Color Command the Dread Horde. And those decks both play zero basic lands, which means that Field of Ruin is a two mana Stone Rain, and Assassin's Trophy is two mana Vindicate. That's pretty good. I want to blow up some lands, all right? So we tried like a, a big green, uh, like Crucible of Worlds, kind of Trony deck. Went all right. Now we're trying a more beat down version of a deck. Um, this is just a pretty straightforward beat down deck. Mostly green. We're splashing black for Trophy, Midnight Reaper, and Veraska. Um, for the most part, though, we were just beating down and trying a Stone Rain. Um, we have the Wildworth Walker package in with Jade Light and Branch Walker. The card Thorn Lieutenant is really, really good right now. Uh, this card is exceptionally good against Teferi, Time Raveler. They play Teferi. If they want to bounce it, you make a 1-1. One, one. Your 1-1 one, one kills Teferi. Really, really good. It's also, very good against Mono Red. Um, very, very good card in this current format. Um, also have Evolution Sage. Uh, nice to proliferate onto our Pell Collector, Branch Walker, Wildgrowth Walker, Jade Light Ranger, and our Planeswalkers. And of course, Sage plays really, really, really well with Nissa, as it can pump up Nissa as well as the creatures that Nissa makes. So, pretty straightforward deck. Nothing too crazy here. Um, only ten black sources because we have our Field of Ruin as well as a black source. Also, sideboard's got Duress. We got, we got a nice one of a sideboard. Are you ready? I used three rare wild cards on this card to bring this deck for you. All right. Don't ever say, I am not so committed to streaming and my deck building that I wouldn't do anything for all of y'all. Anything. Three rare wild cards. So if your opponents are playing no basic lands in their deck, this is a wild Mikado with no drawback. That's pretty sweet. So, four duress, cast down, moment of craving, threshing bronze on for mono red. Uh, can't play Elder Spell. Only have ten black or ten black sources. Um, and realistically, against those decks, we're going to Stone Rain them anyway. So, uh, so green black Ponza deck seems really fun, and let's see how we do. We're currently pretty high on the Mythic ladder right now. I think we're like two hundredth or something. So hopefully, we can keep that going. Sam Black built a Sultai deck with Casualties of War. Endgame had a Tamiyo planet-wide celebration loop. Sounds cool. Huh. Alright, this place. Obviously our cards are just pretty good, too. You know, Re Reaper's pretty good, and Pell Collector's pretty good, and so on and so forth. Obviously Pell Collector... Pell Collector isn't great in this deck. You know, we're not evolving it up to a 4-4 four, four, or 5-5 five, five or anything. It's mostly just like a 2-2 two, two, or a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should run the, run the, run the walker into Jade Light. Why not the Adapt 2-2 two, two on 2? It's just not... It's just kind of mana intensive. It's not great. I think the... Uh, I think it... This is the best 2-drop. I think the Explore package makes us better against Red, too. Esper something. Mm. Yes, deck will still go up in a minute. In a minute. Yeah, so we're at 291. We're floating around. 1, 2, 3 with our last deck. So. Alright, so that's annoying, but fine. Two lands is not cool. Uh, the first land is alright, because we have Varaska, but. I'm not sure what they're playing yet. Tyrant Scorn could be like Esper Hero, could be. A control deck. Ripjaw Raptor is fine. If they're playing Hero of Rask will be good. Um, Alright, so Assassin's Trophy. Our first stone rain of the day. Um, 
think we're just casting Reaper here. I think I have a counter spell. Like the, this, Absorb is like the worst position card in the entire format. It's always very surprising when someone's playing Absorb. Um, Yeah, it's rocket. God damn it! Can they have it? How long am I streaming for? Till about three. Who plays Absorb in, in 2019, the year of our Lord? You know, everyone's literally Teferi is the most played card in the format. How do you put this card in your deck? It's wild. Yeah, I'm 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 going until until uh, until three o'clock. Alright. Yeah, I mean, we probably can't beat this deck ever. The Wrath of God, uh... That's not bad. Wrath of God deck seems good against us. Yes, Meatloaf tonight, too. Yes. Esper, Esper has, what, one basic? Could just kill the oats. They can't bounce it. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Yeah, it's plus. Should I, should I just sack a land? Actually, that makes make much more sense. So you should not want to sack my lands. Sacking lands is actually pretty good. And it's like, all right, that's actually fine. We have Field of Ruin and Assassin's Trophy. The Spark. So I think I want to go after their... Alright. We think they have Swamp in their deck? Hmm. They have blue, 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 blue. They have black, black, black. White, white, white. They're probably going to get a Swamp. Let's so probably kill a blue, white land with our Field of Ruin. And then try and kill another blue, white land. Just go for Stone Rains. I get some hype for Stone Rain, please? We are getting the extra mana, so let's, let's attack first. Could have Dovin's Veto too. Let's actually just wait. I want to hold this Assassin's Trophy. You know, just wait. Like it's gonna be pretty hard to color screw them. I think we just get three cards in hand. Mm, sure. Yes, I'll fix the deck list in a minute, folks. Patience is a virtue. Is that Varaska, honestly? They have an island? Okay. Jeez. I, I missed that Varaska big time. Second land's actually really good in this deck. Alright, I mean. They usually have one island, one swamp. There's not really a ton we can do here, honestly. Two white sources. All right, let's. All right, we're gonna upkeep, shoot their hollowed fountain. 
Pretty sure it's just slam. It's just play the, play the lieutenant too. And then just try and hit their hall out and see if we can take them off Wrath. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I should, I should play this pre combat. We're just trying to get lucky and hope we can mise them off of white mana and they can't Wrath us. Probably our best chance to win, honestly. So, we missed the point. Why wait? Because they, they can use their mana and counter it. So now upkeep, we can hit it. If they want to counter they waste their mana. Okay. So now that they have to have a white source and a wrath, we can definitely cheese them out here. Planes? Ooh, this is pretty good. Uh, I mean, they don't have the Wrath, obviously. So, I guess we're just... We're not casting any spells. We're just going to jam. Settle the wreckage? Yeah, right. I mean, I'm just gonna ship here. We're not casting this, uh... Show me your kill spell, whatever. Some people don't have that many wild cards and lands are expensive. I mean, they're in Mythic, like... Planes? We have lethal. Like. You know what I think? Space bar. Wow. What a game magic. That was the least exciting game magic I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll take that with bells on. Um, okay. Okay. So, they've got multiple basics. I want four duress. Um, probably got the Wild Earth Walkers. Do I want to try and Stone Rain them? I don't think I really do. I bring in the Wild Growth Dryads, then we can definitely get all their basics. Do you think modern Tron Wishforge should run Trinisphere and Chalice of the Void? Reborn, probably. It depends on the deck. I have, I have no idea how the current Wishboards work yet. Me and Nicole are going to play Tron later this week. Casualties of War is too expensive. I'm going to build a, a, a deck with that card in it, though. Similar idea. Do you want to bring in the Old Growth Dryads and you should go nuts? Are we, are we insane? How crazy are we? No, we're not that crazy. Bringing four duress. Um, maybe I want some walkers over trophies. Yeah, I'm cool with this. Alright. Yeah, our, our bond's gonna have two or three basics. They have a planes. Not having a swamp's pretty wild. Morning, Doctor. We won though, so that's sweet. Absorb, absorb. These people and their absorbs. In before Azorius Guildgate. Yeah, that was, that was quite the wild game one there. We just played bad creatures on bad rates. Tried to Star Rain them and failed. They just died anyway. Sure. Thanks, Ken. Alright, Hollow Fountain. If one plant is fine. You know, just they probably have two basics. Alright, hold fountain. Search for Escanta. 
Well, that makes our our uh, Varaska good at least. Not drawing a two drop or a one drop really sucks. Um, and we're definitely not casting Assassin's Trophy, right? No, no way. Uh, they've been thought erasure, so they're not, they're not black yet. So if we, all right, what are they even doing? If we knew they didn't have swamps in their deck, we would just assassins trophy them. Maybe, maybe not. No, let's um, let's just play some stuff here. We're gonna G light. Yeah, they curse by the Reaper. Sure. Lieutenant's fine. We go Veraska next turn, then Reaper plus Lieutenant the following turn. They've been in contempt. Yeah, I know. The old explore Pell Collector combo. Alright, well, they're just not doing anything. So, we're just going to play our Midnight Reaper and continue to attack them and kill them. Did they mold a 6 this game? I'll take it. You know, I'll take it. Obviously, not a very good game for our opponent. Uh... They just got Harley Mana screwed and Harley flooded and didn't do anything, but that's okay. We'll take it. We'll also take our uh, our rally of wings here. Let's go. Green Black Pondra, where are these five color decks and four color decks? This is our sixth match today with every and every opponent's at basic lens. Every single one. Four color Dread Horde, Jeskai Planeswalkers. None of these decks have basics. And I want to capitalize. Where are they at? All I want to do is cast Stone Rain. Alright? That's all I want to do. Ever plan on bringing coaching back? Probably not. It's just too time consuming. It's not worth the, the money time ratio. Nice mana base. Uh. Pretty hard to uh fifteen hours not worth it, no. That's what I was charging before. I was charging more than that actually. Problem is that streaming is a very self perpetuating thing. The more you do it, the more money you make. So taking time off streaming to coach is just like not really worth it. Elves and modern? A little bit. I used to coach a guy who played elves in modern. I kind of want to just keep. Like, we'll Branch Walker on two. We can Pell Collector Thorn Lieutenant on three. All right, it's actually this is actually really good for us. I think it's, this works out well. Um, so let's play Lieutenant. I think. I think is the the 1-1 one, one can't really block very well. Um, you know what? We're going to play Pell Collector Tapland. If this was a 2-1 or a 1-1, one, one, I would play Thorn Lieutenant. If they just, like, strike this next turn and then Chain Willow the turn after, not even that good. So, I'm going to play Pell Collector and say go. Next turn I can Reaper. just want to... Try and not expose myself to chain as much as much as possible. Steam can sure. Okay. I mean now we can like pelt collector branch walker instead. That's pretty good. Or lieutenant. Um Branch Walker sets our drop for next turn. Every play is probably going to die anyway. Like, 
This blocks this better. Alright, that's fine. Lieutenant Dad, ice cream. Like, let's I can kill both of these next turn. Making him a 3 3 is, making him a three threes is pretty good. Oh my god. I don't know if we can beat a double steam can draw. That's really good. Can't block here. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, definitely didn't have this matchup in mind when I built the deck. It's probably why we have the Wild Earth Walker Explore package in, but... Like... I think we're just making some bad blocks next turn. Siggy, Mike with the raid. Thanks so much, my friend. Mike Sigrist, MPL member, and me and Mike teamed together for a pro tour like over ten years ago. So thank you for the raid, Mike. I appreciate it. If you haven't seen Mike stream, Mike's awesome. Great dude, great Magic player. Check him out. Team together for pro tour Charleston. It was Team Ravnica block constructed. In 2006, I believe. Alright, let's just get blown out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, embarrassing story from that Pro Tour. So, I was playing this, like, Simic control deck. Our deck choices weren't very good. Except for, except for Mike's deck was really good. His Gerard gave it to him. And uh, that was actually a really good draw. So you're saying there's a chance you can win this game. We didn't blow, they didn't blow us out, and we drew Veraska. That's great. Uh, so um, so yeah, so I'm playing this like Simic Control deck with Savage Twister and Simic Sky Swallower, a six six Flample Flample Trample Flying Shroud, and uh, we're deep in the tank on this turn. We're playing the Mirror. I have two Sky Swallowers. My opponent has two Sky Swallowers, and I'm trying to think of what to do. And I have a muddle mixture, and Mike tells me to get Savage Twister, and the judge is like, "Stop talking and make a play." Now, I didn't know why Mike wanted to get Savage Twister; it would just kill everything. So you know, we all the two six sixes. I didn't realize how trample worked though, because Mike wanted a Twister for five, and deal five damage to each Sky Swallower, attack with my Sky Swallowers, and then deal ten trample damage and kill them. I just didn't consider that. But the judge said make a play. I don't know why he said it. I couldn't ask him, and it was, it was funny. It's a lesson in trust, trusting your teammates, unfortunately. Um, alright. We're gonna pay a mana here and draw a card. But yeah, Mike's great. Well, check, check out Mike's stream. Yeah, at, at the time at the time we were we were a team put together by Gerard Fabiano. We didn't know each other at all. So I had no idea who Mike was. So like he tells me I'm not sure. I was trust myself, but yeah, it was it was it was wild. Alright. I think we shock here to explain this and start getting in. But yeah, gotta have some faith, you know? I, I didn't have faith and I was aptly punished. We went like 10 6 that Pro Tour and didn't cash either. It's pretty wild. Um, Alright, so we're gonna smash and just play. Play the Branch Walker post combat? Yeah, this, the opponent's got nothing here. Alright, this is great. Sounds good, Mike. Oh, good luck in your... It's your MPL Weekly match? Awesome, good luck. Who are you playing? Playing Paulo? Good luck, man. Take him down. That game was weird. Our opponent just, like, flooded and didn't do anything. I thought we were super dead. Alright, um... Bringing in some Brontodons. And some Moment of Cravings. And some Cast Downs. Uh, we can shave that on Field of Ruin, because it doesn't actually do anything in this matchup, obviously. Uh, 10, 20, I think 22 lands is fine. Um, 
Midnight Reaper is obviously not very good. Assassin's Trophy is okay, but not great here. Um, and then, I mean, this is like okay. Varaska is okay. Evolution Sage is pretty bad. Hey, Reaper is actually okay. Brontodon deals with Frenzy. Obviously, we actually have kill spells now, so Trophy isn't super necessary. Um, I think this is fine. Yeah, we're also on the draw, so Reaper's even worse. Right, let's, leave that, let's leave it a third trophy. Old Growth Dryads. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. People want to play all non basic lands? Things are going crazy. We obviously haven't played against a, a non-basic land deck yet, but we are ready. We are ready. All right, we gotta ship this one. This plays its hand. Uh, definitely ship that one. Point of Mulligans also, they top. Uh, Branch Walker's fine. We do have four Wild Growth Walker in our deck, you know, so. Answer sure. It's a pretty good. Oof. Yeah, it's still good. It's Pell Collector, bonus in it. Chain Roller won't be that bad. Um, okay, it's not good, but it could be worse. Where are my? I think this is just a block. Like, our Pelt Collectors don't get much better than this, so... Okay. Explore skis. Alright. I mean, this is fine. Like, they have a lot of cards, even Nissa. We're definitely behind here, but... I mean, our, deck, our deck definitely not built with mono red in mind, but no blocks. A second chain roller here would be devastating. That scares me. Yeah, that definitely terrifies me. They probably have a second chain roller if they're willing to do that like that. Um Alright, well, we smash. We'll trophy their chain whirler. I mean, if they have chain whirler, we're in big trouble. If this exchange ends with us playing Nyssa and the board being kind of a power, kind of a, kind of even, we're kind of okay. Alright, we are going to trophy here. So we are 12. And unfortunately, chain whirler dominates the board, so. What's up, Raph? How's it going? Chain roller number two. Frenzy. That's actually fine. Didn't draw land. Tilt. Needed, we, we needed that land there really bad. We, need, we needed the pressure that Nissa was going to give us. That sucks. Now we're probably in big trouble. Land, land? They bricked? Wow. This deck is lucky. Opponents just brick off every time. Uh, Alright. What is the most memorable match I've played that wasn't winning a major tournament or a Pro Tour match? I have a really bad memory. I have to think about that. Um, I had a match against Brad Nelson, which you may have seen on... Uh, the best of SG Live, where he killed me with four lightning strikes. I was playing blue eye control. Obviously, I lost. I, I think I could have played around. It. The sick part was I was playing around it too. I just played around three, not four, and I could have played around the fourth one too. Um, I lost that one. So that doesn't count. I think we just. What are they at? They're at eleven. Maybe library graveyard. No, nah, just we're just we're just bit this. We need to land. 
Oh, that's brutal. Um, I mean, Finnis too. Let me see land. It's for Nissa. This game has to end very, very soon. That is really good for us. That's good for us too. Wow, they bricked off completely. Completely. This is... This is just something else. Now we have access to the cast down too. When it w it was when Jim Davis played me in Comic Town and Legacy and opened with a wasteland, he opened with a mountain. And apologized. <laughs> How about the affinity match against Blue Storm I talked about? Oh, that dude, that was insane. I wrote an article by my uh, MTG stories or whatever. All right, don't kill me. I mean, we deserve to die here, honestly. Chain Whirler, all right, that's good. Here, yeah, this is this is a fun article. Three stories about crazy matches I've played. I liked a lot. I'll put it in chat. Hashtag MDG stories. All right, light up a stage, lightning strike us in response. They have one mana left. So it has to be like land strike. Land lava coil. You are dead. We did it. Alright, lucky us. Jeez. That article is very, very fun though. Check it out. Alright, so we've won two matches now where it felt like we shouldn't have won either one of them. But I'll take it. And now it's time to play against a deck that's playing a bunch of non basic lands, right? Right? Why don't we get punished for? We didn't play bad that game. We just... They just drew really bad. Yeah, we are 100% losing to a 5-color deck this round with zero basic lands. 1,000%. That sounds good. Alright. Oh, deck list. I'm sorry, folks. I didn't put the deck list up. I can't look at a deck list in between in a game. I'll put it up after this game. All right. I mean, let's go. Don't do it. They are a red green deck with a paradise druid. Lots of basic lands, but that's okay. We have Jade Light Ranger. We're happy. We're happy. 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 We top bottom. Are you as excited as I am for Modern Horizons? My favorite card so far is the Baleful Snow Strix. Baleful Snow Strix is pretty cool. Modern Horizons seems cool. It's going to change Modern a lot, I think. It's going to be very interesting at first. Alright. Kindling Phoenix has been called. Double Explorer has been called by me. Actually, hold on. Yeah, we're going to library that. We're actually going to attack with this and see if they block. Yeah, they're going to block. We got them. We got them. We're going to give them a land, but we get to uh, kill that. Next turn, we get to go Walker, Branch Walker, and go what? I mean, the White Pitch Anthem is pretty good. That's a Dargan. Alright. Zondolf, res or new sub, what's up, what's your name, where you're from, and then Power Resub. Welcome back, my friend. You all great. Thank you so much for supporting me, I appreciate it very, very much. Of course, for those that don't know, Magic's my full-time gig. I produce content for CoolStuffInc.com, uh, as well as here on Twitch and on YouTube. And uh, I should have held that. I have Evolution Sage in my deck. It was, it was very dumb. And um, 
your support makes that possible. So, this only kills Dragon if they block. It's fun. And, uh, y'all, great. Five bucks a month. You get access to all my emotes, no ads, private Discord chat server for subs only. Uh, all sorts of perks. Five bucks a month. Thank you. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime user, you get a free Twitch Prime sub. Use it on me. So they get to fight here and kill my Wildgrowth Walker, which is fine. Minor elves. Forest. Alright. I mean... This dragon is a problem. Force of Despair. That's like the black one. Uh, it seems fine. Basket the Gamer, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. I mean, we are a little light on removal here. The Immortal Sun. People just love playing the Immortal Sun in their Planeswalker decks. Just love it. <laughs> and obviously we draw a Planeswalker. Surprise! I didn't even plus it first. Alright, well... We tag them, this dies, this dies, they take... Yeah, it's not good. I guess I just play this... I draw an Assassin's Trophy, I want to use it immediately. I mean, we don't really have a use for a bajillion mana in this deck, so the static isn't really important. In fact, I probably shouldn't have played it, actually, because that didn't much kill it because of a static. Well, they can't attack, though, so... They can shoot stuff with Skargon Hellkite, though. That's a problem. No boss. Right. Wow. Yeah, I mean, obviously Domri plus, plus Sun is fine. There's the static on Domri's good. It ramps into Sun. It's kind of cool. Bones deck seems cool. Uh, I think we're super dead. Zondov from Worcester. Worcester. Plants is a Lar block. Paper card Nevermore. Paper deck is Ponza. Sweet. Average player from Norway. Sweet. Alright, they're going to kill our Nissa. And we are going to. They have one activation. So if I block with. Jeez. Yeah, we're super dead here. Immortal Sun plus Domri's pretty uh, pretty well. This, their deck seems good, actually. Their deck seems quite good. Too little, too late, unfortunately. We are at 33 life, but... Alright, let's just attack and see what they do, I guess. Because they have the block, right? At least they block with at least one. One more boss definitely blocks Jade Light. Other one probably lives. Alright. Zab, resub, welcome back. Yeah, I don't think our Wild Red Walker ever can cross the finish line here. The deck seems good. I like it. It's the first Immortal Sun deck I've seen that actually seems good. Alright. Damn basic lands! Alright, uh, this seems like a pretty hard matchup for us. We're gonna want Cast Down... I don't think we want Moment of Craving. Uh, I guess we're going to shave down on Field of Ruin again. It doesn't do anything. And we'll... I will leave in the Assassin's Trophies. We just need, we just need kill spells. Yeah, this is fine. 
Um, I'm not going to cut my Planeswalkers. We still have Assassin's Trophy and stuff. Yeah, we have no Contempts. It's kind of hard to cast as we're playing uh, all these, all these um, or so few Black Lands. Unfortunately, we built this deck for a very specific purpose, and that purpose is not being realized yet. Um, but it's okay. I don't think I want Brontodon. It's just a, a ground doofer for the most part. I just want a Wildgarth Walker probably and hope we can get, they get there with that. Opponent's in the tank. Opponent is in the tank. What is Ponza? Ponza is slang for an aggressive deck that focuses on killing your opponent's lands and then killing them quickly before they can recover. Uh, the nomenclature goes back into magic history a long way. Something to do with a sandwich or something, I think. I don't recall exactly offhand. But the idea is a, an aggressive deck that's going to kill your opponent's lands, put them off balance, and then kill them. I'm going to keep. What do I think about them making a new extended format? Especially with all the bonkers cards they're putting into modern. What do you mean new extended format? Like what? What would, what would that be? Suspended creatures have haste. So. I don't see why they would do that. The only reason they would make a a new format between modern standards to make arena modern. Right, we're just gonna hold on to our, our walker. Gonna keep holding on to our walker until we draw an explore creature. Um, they have like a phoenix here, we're just in big trouble. That's really good for us. This is their only play here, this is awesome. Double trophy. So now we could actually go for the Paradise Druid to try and mana screw them, but our, our lieutenants can't beat the 3-3 in combat. So, and if we have to use Assassin's Trophy, we gotta give them lands, so I think we just kill the, uh, the Spellbreaker here. Could have maybe left the lieutenant back, but I don't think protecting Varaska is very important. Um, they have a war boss here, it's kind of annoying. This is fine too. Alright, let's draw a, a Gia Wildgrowth Walker. Alright, sure. Alright, now we have to just play the, the Walker, I think. That's fine. I mean, honestly, we draw a more land because we can pump our Throne Lieutenants, which is kind of cool, too, so... Alright. Don't want to give them lands. I would like to kill the Spellbreaker. I obviously can't. I don't want to give them lands. They have four spells in their hand. Yeah, this is fine. Evolution Sage? That's a bad draw. <sighs> All right. Assassin's Trophy is a lot worse when they have basic lands in their deck. No lies. All right, forest, sure.
I mean, they have five mana. Sure. Tibskis. Gaffer, seven month resub. And this one's for my old gaffer. I guess we just attack. Really? You can just kill it beforehand. There's no way they're gonna they're probably double block on one. There's no reason to kill it just yet. Oh, this makes sense. Ah, I'm an idiot. I, I'm so dumb. I didn't even consider this. I, sh I should have killed the 2-2 beforehand. Uh, that was really stupid. I thought that, For some reason, in my mind, they were going to double block. But obviously, they don't have to double block because the, the trigger on this. I just forgot the trigger completely. That was a terrible, terrible play. Uh... uh They should be at four. It's bad. I guess we do have three lethal attackers if we can draw a land, but they're probably going to have enough blockers to stop that, so. My assistants are painfully sloppy. All right. All right, I mean... They have to single block everything. They can pump Guardian to a 4-4. We pump, we pump that Lieutenant. They're going to kill one Lieutenant here. We're going to get a token. So just pass priority. So we're going to have two Lieutenants and a Elf. And they're gonna have nothing in play. So it's not the worst. If they were at four, it'd be a lot better, obviously, but this card is very good. Very, very good. That was pretty good for them. Another guardian? Alright. So, like, they had to chump block both of these? I guess that makes sense. Alright. Alright. Paradise Druid. How many, uh, that's all, they're all, they're out of, uh, Grow Chamber Guardians. That's cool. So, as it stands, they're chump blocking and going to four. Right? And pass priority. All right, this just feels great. I mean, kind of a weird game, honestly, but eh, 
cool. Take that, basic lands. You think I can't beat a deck with basic lands in it? Huh? Is that what you think? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Lieutenant. Folks, just sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing this Ponza deck. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Don't forget to check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one source for all your game shopping needs, card games, board games, miniatures, you name it, CoolStuff.com's got it. Use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. What makes the deck Ponza is that... Look, 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 look. What was that? Uh, we are trying to kill our opponent's lands. Both Assassin's Trophy and Field of Ruin are just stone rains if they have no basics in their deck. The problem is, we keep playing against decks that have basics in them. Like a lot of basics. So, it's not really working. But we are 2 0, so that's a thing. And this hand is frustratingly bad. So, if we just had one land, this hand would be insane. But we're going to mulligan. It is not really good, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. No Llanowar Elf? Praise be. We have a good curve here, honestly. Branchwalker, Reaper, Golgari, 3 3 Pell Collector. It's pretty good, too. So you definitely want to land off of this. Graveyard. Will they block? I'll take a block here. Alright. Tron deck was cool. Um, it needs a little work, but we did uh, land lock some people. That's good. Alright. Um, I can't really attack here. But I like the band Neck Deep. I, I don't know who that is. This is still the Immortal Sun deck, yeah. That's chill. Alright, this is fine. We lose Veraska, but it's not a bad exchange for us. They have to attack it also. I think we just ship off the attack here, try to be aggressive, make them attack Varaska. We 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 miss it, attack them. All right, look like they're out of gas. That's, that's really good for us. They are out of gas. Sweet. So hopefully Nissa can shake the world here and uh, get some stuff done. That was pretty good too, actually. Uh, alright. We got some world shaking to do here. The land shall conquer you. <laughs> We're making it very, very hard for them to actually kill Nissa next turn. And if I get to make another 3-3, three, three, that's awesome. So... And then if I draw a land, Evolution Sage pumps everything. If I draw a spell, that's good too. So This is the only bad card I could draw is an, another Nyssa. And even then, that's not that's not bad. I just make another creature land. It's, it's not great. That's fine, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we really have no bad draws this turn. Uh, sure. They're four, so they have to draw a creature to kill Nyssa. Or a kill spell. And if they play a blocker or kill spell, send six at Nissa, any land kills them. Alright, they're dead. Proliferate. Ah! Four lethal attackers. Get him. Get him, Maul.
Whoa! Alright. We've now beaten three basic land decks in a row. You know? I like it. It's cool. I still want to stone rain some people. <laughs> Can we get one of these five color decks, please? Or just four color planeswalker decks, three color planeswalker decks, something? Anything? I want to be on that stone rain grind. That's what I want. Sure. God. <sighs> Why is it always a basic land? What's the land they like to play? Basic, basic. What's the land they like to play? Basic, basic. You used to call me um. What's up, Tez? There's a ten in here. Oh boy. Is it Nexus deck? It's just a Simic Steel Yo stuff deck. That's not good for us. Oh look, another Field of Ruin. Nah, we're in trouble. Not only is our Ponza cards not working, but they're also just playing a ramp deck based around mass manipulation. So every trophy we cast is just is just bad. <sighs> Dick goals, twenty one month resub. Welcome back. SCG con in a couple of weeks. I will see you there, my friend. Oh. Nice field of ruins. Nice field of ruins. I got every time like this matchup can't be good. We are three out, so I can't imagine we win, we win this one. Like, this just seems really hard. Can't trophy your own stuff. Target permanent and opponent controls. Uh, uh, it's so awkward. We can branch walker and then sage, but we can't explore. I think we actually just uh, attack and kill the druid if they try and pump it. Field of Ruin also plays very well with Evolution Sage. That's why it's in the deck. So we can get a lot of proliferate triggers next turn. Yes, I also want to see this verse four color dread horde. That's why we built it. This is what I want, and I never get what I want. I'm just so unfortunate. Got crisis. Just anything here is so bad for us. We all want things, you know. I mean, these things are gonna be pretty, pretty big next turn. So we can proliferate twice. Ugh. Ugh. It's only a five five. Not that bad. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, no tax. 
field to give them off four blue. I mean, they have so many cards in their hand. We could probably, maybe we should, not, they, have, they have ions too. We can't, keep, we can't keep them off blue. Oh my god. How do we win this game? I don't think we do. Maybe I should hold on to the fields in case we get a, a Nissa. I don't think that matters. I think we're super dead. Crucible is not good in this list. We're an aggro deck. Our previous deck played Crucible. That's probably a start, honestly. Um... Like... This is a lot of life. It didn't hit a land, unfortunately. Can't attack yet, but as long as I don't have a mass manipulation and there are eight cards in hand. We can't destroy their lands. If they, if your opponent has a lot of basic lands in your deck, the Ponza aspect of his deck doesn't work. The whole point is most people are playing three color decks with only one basic or zero basics. That was the idea of the deck. It is not working. It is working. We are three and zero, oh, but it's not working the way we wanted it to work. We can go to the next game here. I don't think we can ever beat this deck. I know I've already said that three times already, but this time I mean it. Cast down, moment of craving. I think Assassin's Trophy has to actually just leave the deck no matter what. We cannot ramp them. Um, and then... I think we still want fields. I want to rest. I don't think so. We just need to, like, kill their mana creatures and mize them out. Just, like, cheese them. You know, hopefully they have a slow draw. We kill a mana creature to have a fast aggro draw, just kill them before they can do anything, you know? Play first. That's not gonna do it. Mulligan. We got a Lano Rolf too. Never draw a Lano. Oh my god. Uh. Why does this keep happening? Double cemetery. Um I can't keep this either. I want a hand. I want Overgrown Tomb, Woodland Cemetery, Lana War Elves, Jade Light Ranger, Moment of Craving. That's my five. Ready? Here it comes. Oh, I kept by accident. Oops. We'll never know. We'll never know. Alright. Uh. Nice. Retire this deck? We're 3-0. Oh. <laughs> we haven't lost the match yet. Ooh. That's actually pretty... Oh, they could have a road spiral. So, let's draw, so Walker doesn't pump these. They missed a land drop? Oh my god. Oh my god, so you're telling me there's a chance. Uh, we don't cast this, we just say go. As they play a creature, I want to kill it. I'm going to draw a land, I want to cast Reaper. Ah, so rude. God, just brutal. Um, I think it's just the same sequence. 
they play... I guess most of their creatures don't even pump this. So... But if they play a Llanowar Elf or a... Uh, the O2, I definitely want to kill it. I was about to walk her. I, I keep forgetting to update, update the deck list, I'm sorry. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, alright. This is all... kinda part of the plan. I think we just act like this. We should just draw a, um... Any land is just like... Whoa! Crap. Crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. Graveyard. Graveyard. Get him! Gonna win, gonna win, gonna win. Stop stealing my stuff! You're dead on board! Ha ha ha! You lose! You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! That's the kind of game we gotta have. Just like that. They gotta miss some land drops. We gotta kill some mana creatures. We'll call it a day. Just like that. Yes, four color command is very, very good. Just play as much as you can with it. It's very, very hard to play. I mean, the mulligan hand would have crushed them if it was good. Because our hand was actually pretty slow, so. They mulligan to six. I'm keeping. Lana Rolf on top. They bottomed. Okay, it's fine. Now, here's the question. Do we kill this over playing a threat? That's a wild question. I kinda want to. I'm going to. Normally I'm all about deploying the threats first, but because they mulliganed and scribe bottom, and we kinda need, ah, oh man, that makes things even more complicated. Um, all right. I think we're Jade Light into Walker, Branch Walker. Back in five minutes. Just wait longer. Oof, that's gross. That's really bad. <laughs> Killing a mana creature is a stone rain. We have to do it. It's on theme. You're totally correct. Couldn't couldn't agree more. This is bad. They've got mana. This is bad. Ideas to improve the mirror. Uh, board out your one toughness creatures. The, the big thing in the mono red mirror, we can keep this. No. This doesn't line up well. I'm just gonna keep it. I, eh. Next turn is Jade Light Branch Walker. This doesn't really line up well with that. I'm just gonna graveyard it. Um, key to the mono, mono red mirror is just making sure you play things at the right time. Like, for example, say you're on the play, right? And you just go, land go, land go, steamkin go, and they, or whatever. No, I'm sorry, nothing. Biogenic. Well, that sound. Um, so the question is, on your turn two, you just say go, two lands up. They have two lands, they say go. On your turn three, you should never cast Chain Whirler into their lightning strike. It's bad tempo. Just making sure you're, you're playing things at the right time. Don't let them kill your thing, untap, and play something. All right. Uh, this seems hard to beat. Let's, uh, make our stuff really big and try to attack them. Um, God, I wish this Jade Light was a, not a 2-1. Let's, um, never should have Jade Light, Jade Light, Branch Walker. 
Once these things become 4-4s, four we're in trouble. God, two lands again? Oh my god, we're not playing Krasis in this deck. We don't need all these lands. Alright, that's coming in, and that's coming in. These two ones are brutal. Stone Rain! No. Stone Rain! No. No Stone Rain. Rude. What's the Ponza part? I don't even know. Anymore. Alright. All of our opponents have basic lands. Oh. Another Wild Growth Walker. Oh, they had four fours now. Oh boy, we're in trouble. All right, Midnight Reaper, do something good for us. Just gotta throw it all away. Stone Rain. We're not playing Couches of War. That's a different deck. We're gonna work on that one too, though. Cast Down? Alright, we drew Cast Down at least. That's good. So you're telling me there's a chance. I mean, this is a wild attack. I'm blocking. We're at 29 and they're at 8 and they're attacking with their 5-7. Meatball Calzone, sounds good. That's a pretty good draw. What is going on here? Is there like a counterspell or something? What's going on? I mean, I hope this resolves. No, they Frilled Mystic. Alright, that's why. I think Frilled Mystic is pretty bad in these, in these Simic decks, but who am I to say? I guess that's fair. Yeah. Maybe we should try to try bait it out. Ah. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. I'll fix the deck list uh, soon. I haven't gotten there yet. What's up, Jordan? Everything to drink other than water. Arnold Palmer. I think we're dead, folks. I think we're dead. It's a sad day. Thought we could steal it. We couldn't steal four matches in a row. We can only steal three matches in a row. Right? Just kill this for free and they just take damage, doesn't matter, and we just draw a removal spell or something and we get we get ahead here. I mean This works for me. Like they do have Reaper in play, so the their life like the more they block, they obviously lose life. Uh, I think we're just slamming they trade with the Mystic, they draw a Reaper, they chump block. Ugh. 
So they have to block. I block with the Reaper. I, I just have to hope they draw all lands, I think. If you're not in the top 1,000, you're you're displayed as a percentile. So my opponent's in the 95th percentile. We're almost at the point we can pump this thing twice. That's cool, I guess. That's a nice synergy, actually. We have, we have Nissa in our deck. There's attacking, sure. Sith Squirrel, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. My allergies. Tiny crazies. Well, folks, I guess that's it. All it took was 13 lands. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. I like playing Super Friends decks. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. Alright, so we're 3-1. and one. Um, We have not played against a deck with less than multiple basic lands. If you please just play against a deck with no basic lands. It's the whole reason I built the deck. There's literally Command the Dread Horde, 4 and 5 color is the new hotness. Just got Super Friends, super good. Can, you, can it be you, Chump Blocked? Can you be the one to play some non-basic lands for us? God. We left all our lands in the last... God, I didn't update the deck list. I'm sorry. Not fast enough. You'll see the deck at the end. Right, this is the end. You gotta go faster than that, folks. You can't tell me deck list enough to start the game already, you know? You gotta tell me as the game is ending. I'm too slow for that. The, the, the blue Tron deck was okay. It's more of a lands deck than a Tron's deck. A Tron deck. Um, it's fine. They mulligan too. Alright, this, this hand's fine. Like, um, I don't want that. We're just turn two Jade Light, turn three Veraska here. Just ship this. They topped. Oh, that changes things. Um. All right. This is probably gonna die, but payoff is super high. MCQ next weekend? I'm not really sure, honestly. Oh my god. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. There's no way. Not a chance. Alright. Didn't think so. Didn't think so. We're still way ahead here, though, so. Uh, I kind of want lands. But I was gonna ship it. Right. Like they have chain ruler here and they kill my Lano Rail if we ruin another land, so. Yeah. Alright. That's a problem. Okay, that's that's a semi solution. Oh, Field of Ruin. We had such big plans for you. What might have been? That's sweet. Mirror Mirror. Am I late to pick up John? Oh, it's too long. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Double Firebrand, sure. Alright. Uh, 
right. I mean, Nebraska. We just Verasca minus and kill Chain Whirler. Like, it just. It's basically a two for one. I guess if we leave these back, they can't attack it. I also need to pressure them. Or I'm sorry, back. It could also be like really um, conservative and like not even play Varaska Trophy the Chain Whirler and just try and get Varaska online because they're kind of flooded anyway. I almost don't hate that. Unless they shoot that, it's fine. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna say go. Their hand is really good. We're in trouble anyway. But like they have a frenzy. We're in trouble. But what is this? Shock me and step. All right. So that means they have a, a frenzy in their hand. There's no way they would do that otherwise. So, that complicates things for sure. Um, now we're not going to trophy the Chain Whirler. It's tough. Ugh. Alright, I mean, we are definitely behind here. Oh, well, I want, this deck's playing 22 lands, right? I mean, it's 20, it's 23. 24. Brutal. Just brutal. So we're both playing off the top. They have a 2-2, two, two, I have a 4-3, and I have a million lands, as usual. I can't really attack. Can I attack? I mean, we, 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 if... Yeah, we kill... Yeah, we can't attack. They have so many draws. I'm attacking. They draw like a, a lightning strike or which is lightning or anything that kills my ranger, which is awful. They draw a haste creature is bad too, but like we they we did we did win the top deck war here. Like if they draw good, we're gonna lose anyway. Yeah, that was really good. Oh my god. Alright, well We are definitely dead now. Uh Maybe we should play that six mana spell. Alright, you win a point. You win, alright, you win. Fine. You get it. Got it. Good. Uh alright, so craving, craving, bronze on, bronze on, bronze on, cast down, cast down. Take out Reaper, Reaper, Sage, Sage. Uh a trophy and to Field of Ruins. Yeah, I agree. They should have cast the, the Lab Sage before attacking. They would have gotten it for two more points of damage. They ended up bad at where it didn't matter.
The little pawns a deck that couldn't. We haven't killed any lands. Our opponents just keep playing all basic lands. Can they get the memo? It's all about four color mana bases and stuff. Uh, three and one. Remind everyone to check out bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies, number one source for all your gaming needs uh, when it comes to supplies, sleeves, deck lockers, deck binders. Super awesome stuff. I've been using this stuff for the last four years, and uh, it's awesome. The new sleeves are great. The Elite 2. Check them out. Uh, bcwsupplies.com. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order. Sweet. I mean, this hand is really good, so... Not really good. It's good. I think we just land a off here. Just get Nissa in play. I actually like that a lot. We are three and one with this deck. We have not been four at any point. No, I only single sleeve. I hate double sleeves. They're big and they're clunky and I don't like them. I mean, I don't think they have a chain roller, it's bad for us, but this is a pretty good attack. We will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. It's like they whirl her here. It's not good for us, but it's not that bad. We lost to Mono Red and Simic Steal Your Stuff. And we beat Mono Red. That's bad. Alright, alright, alright. I'm pretty sure we're 3 and 1. Oh, yes, Field of Ruin. Thank you for showing up today. I mean, I guess our Thorn Lieutenant can get in, right? Maybe we just leave it back and see if they screw up. Maybe they won't realize we can pump it. Yeah, this card's very good, good against Mono Red, yes. I'll have a coil on my Brontodon. Alright, that sucks. Attack, 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 attack! Do it, do it, do it! Chain Roller is so good. Like, the 3 3 first strike body is just so good. I think they're realizing that I can pump it. What are the odds we ultimate Nissa this game? Ooh, they're in the tank. Lightning strike targeting a forest. Time out. Has land gained haste? Yes. Um, okay. Two, two, one. Yeah, we gotta just do this. I 
I don't, it's really, I don't know what's actually helping us. I think it's just a kill spell is helping us. I can't really attack, but I guess they can't really attack either, right? Like, we're going to try and ultimate this Nissa. That's what we're going to try and do. That's our plan. Oh god, here we go. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Scrybug. It's like a tenth time today. I guess it's actually bad for us because now I can't, uh. Now I can't pump the, uh. Can't pump my lieutenant anymore. But. We just defend Nissa here, honestly, and ultimate, and we probably win. Oh my god. Please hit two lands in a row. That's land number one. Hit a land. No, don't look at my Nissa. Please be reading Nissa because they hit two lands in a row and now they're scared. Please be the case. Please. I'm begging you. We did it! Ah, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Uh, enter stats. Thank you. We have his cast down, too. So we have three Vigilance Indestructible Attackers. And we can pump our Thorn Lieutenant also. So we'll just not die, I guess. We can kill Steamkin. Uh, this is fine. I don't have any good blocks here, so. Alright. I guess we'll have the craziest frenzy turn ever next turn. But yeah, we're drawing we're drawing a Woodland Cemetery next turn. A, no, I'm sorry, a field of ruin. A thousand percent of the time. All right, but it's not double mana, right? Okay, that's still fine. Still have cast down up, so. That's a land. Taste it! Game three. We'll never know that our top card was a field of ruin. We'll never know. Um... Ultimating Nyssa against Mono Red. They said it couldn't be done. They said it couldn't be done. Hype and chat, please. We got a hype and chat for a little noise in here. For ultimating Nyssa against Mono Red. When they had a frenzy in play and a steamkin. We got a little noise in here, huh? Jeez. Thanks for following, everyone. If you have followed, give me that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Nissa is good. This is weird because she's like half an aggro card, half a rampy card, you know? And they are the tank. I know, I also wanted to draw a Field of Ruin next turn. I get it. I get it. While waiting for our opponent here, hop on over to Twitter. Give me a follow, at JimDavisMTG. You would have known all about the decks I'm playing. There's a deck list if you want it. It's on my Twitter. There's a deck list. 
All the Twitter skis. Played this deck too. They'll be up on YouTube and missed it. Follow me on Twitter. Burnsy Clue. Double overgrown tomb? Oh. We have triple thorn lieutenant. That's like fine. Trophies. Eh. I gotta keep this, I guess. Ha. Huh. There's our hero. It's still like a forest. Swamp works too. I'm okay with that. So like here's a spot where you wouldn't want to play a creature that dies to a lightning strike. Sure. With with no value, obviously. So they have that into Chain Whirler? Sure, I guess. Right, so that's obviously really good. Good on them, I suppose. Moment of craving. Chain Whirler's so good. Oh god. Lava Coil Mountain? Not the end of the world, I guess. That is the end of the world. He lands. Please don't play two spells. Tipskis. Okay. Alright. Um Land is really good there. So we attack the Tibskis. I'm an idiot. I just... In my mind, I'd already killed it. That ah, was so dumb. Alright, whatever. It's gonna die anyway. Another Steamkin? Oh. Oh. That looks familiar. Alright. Um. Yeah. Alright, I mean, they're almost out here. Like, as long as our last card is in Chandra or Frenzy, I think we're alright. And God forbid if it's a shock. But, we're about, to, we're about to cast Moment of Craving. So we they draw land, we draw land. We do that? Yeah, Mono Red's one of the best decks in the format, for sure. They have a Dire Fleet Daredevil? Looking at my graveyard? Ah, oh. oh, it hurts. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. Ha, 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 ha. 
I wanted to trophy the chain whirler. We have to kill the frenzy or we're gonna lose. Oh, this is brutal. Alright. Hopefully we draw land. That's not a land. Um. God, now what do we do? I don't want to chump block with Wild Red Walker. Or Thornton, honestly. I think we just need to fade and draw a Explore Creature next turn. Yeah. Alright. Just gotta fade. Hope they have a land. Hope I draw a land or like a 2-2 two -two or something. Brutal. Just brutal. Oh my god. Ugh. That's gross. Point, stop, please. Can't take any more. This has got to be Brick City. That's brick number one. Brick number two. Land. Then we need to draw like that's not that's not that 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 turns off a lot of our outs. The more, the messier. More tipskis. How many tipskis do you got? Oh god. All right. All right. We're dead. All right. So unfortunately, we just didn't play against a single deck all day. Actually, in ten matches, we didn't play against one deck that was playing all non-basics. Even though two of the best decks in the format right now are this four color dread horde deck no basic lands and the just guy super friends deck they have one island maybe i don't think that uh the lotus box list had any had any basic lands so obviously you know we were trying we were experimenting a little bit and we were trying uh trying stuff out i had delusions of grandeur of uh, two mana vindicate two mana stone rain we went three two realistically so we did some stuff right but unfortunately just didn't get the matches we wanted we, did, we didn't bring in our old growth did, didn't bring in our old growth dryads once i spent three rare wild cards on these for you for all of you out there watching my content if you ever doubt that i'm serious about content i spent three rare wild cards on old growth dryads for my sideboard for this deck <sighs> but that's gonna do it folks for this for this deck if you're looking to beat your opponent's five power deck play this deck and if you're looking to lose to mono red i guess play this deck all right thanks for watching everyone if you're watching on youtube make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys next time youtube